when Cameroonians and football lovers were breathing a sigh of relief that the pressure from the World Football Governing Board, the FIFA, on the Africa Cup of Nations, AFCON 2021 Cameroon to be or not to be, was dying out. A strong worded communique from the World, uh, World League Forum has uh, come up. And of course, of questioning and increasing fears among Cameroonians, also indicating that the call for players to go on international duty, referring to coming to play for the continental competition in Africa, is unreasonable and will affect more clubs in Europe. Some of the clubs are expressing their non readiness to leave their players to come for the competition. A lot of controversies. On the event, and of course, we shall be talking about that in this edition of the news with our guests on Talking Point. Meantime, Cameroonians are still to come to terms with the passing away of Cameroon's music artist Fish, who died in a ghastly road accident. We shall also be taking you to the Mamfi Council, that's in the Mamfi, that's in the manual division of the southwest region of Cameroon, but also in the Bermuda 2 municipality to talk about the council session. Thanks for choosing to get information on Equinox Television. You're on to the best of television channel. We are on the prime track news. We are broadcasting live from Douala, Cameroon's economic capital city, Equinox Central News Desk. We begin with a shocking story, the passing away of an entertainer in Cameroon to say that uh, Cameroonians and music lovers are still to come to terms with the passing away of Cameroon's uh, music artist, uh, that is Fish, the 24-year-old singer who goes by the stage name Fish, died last night alongside his manager in a car crash along the Tico Douala Highway. Fish's demise comes barely over a month after he emerged winner of the 2021 biggest studio reality show in Cameroon where he got a car and other gifts worth 12 uh, million francs CFA. He died alongside his uh, manager and close aide, Feka Apashibel, who doubles as a humanitarian and a gender activist, owner of a non governmental organization who's been specialized in putting smiles on the faces of uh, orphans and the vulnerable in Cameroon. The social media platforms or social media platforms in Cameroon have been flooded since the announcement of the passing away of the singer and manager Fish was better known when he participated in the 2021 edition of the reality TV show Biggie 237 but also west of the Mongo uh, or east of the Mongo he was known when he collaborated with one of Cameroon's Makusa superstar Longe Longe in one of the hit song uh, Jo as we propose an extract in the for in the discourse of the news Four-year-old entertainer Bonjem uh, Leslie, who is known on the stage name Fish, he is no more. 
He died in a road accident along the Tiko Douala Highway last night. And of course, we shall be coming back to more information on that unfortunate incident. But we'll stay on the Tiko Douala Highway to say that yesterday was also a terrible day. Some other persons were involved in different road accidents. But luckily for the individuals, nobody died. And of course, we, our cameras got some of the vehicles in flames along the Tiko Douala Highway yesterday in another accident and many have been advised uh, to be more uh, conscious and careful as they ply highways in Cameroon especially the festive period. It is also noted that the Tiko Douala Highway which is the main highway linking the southwest region of Cameroon to the rest of the country is uh, experiencing a high traffic congestion within the last days of the year 2021. We stay in the southwest region of Cameroon where the Manfred Council is bouncing back from the effects of the armed conflict rocking the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. The Manfred Council has held its uh, budgetary session and putting ahead ambitious plans for 2022. You know, Getting to over four years now, the population of Manfi in the southwest region have been without electricity. According to some of them, the misery this has brought is immeasurable as most businesses have been affected. Most people have switched to the use of generators, which is costly. As such, services rendered to the population are now expensive. Because of the petrol, who run the generator, I make them they put the price like to to 50 francs per copy for the copy. 500 francs for type paper printer. Lack of portable water and good roads have made the situation sour. During the Manfi Council session that saw adoption of the sum of 1 billion 250 million francs CFA as 2022 budgets to complete spending projects and realize earmarked ones, the need to solve the electricity trouble in Manfi was highlighted. We are going to continue the installation of uh, solar panels all over the municipality. That means that the 11 villages are going to benefit the solar panel. Uh, we have the, term, the thermal plant that is, oh, is already at 90 percent. That is going to go functional. The Manfi Council authorities have also promised to redress the water crisis in the municipality and realize other projects. We are going to uh, drill nine boreholes within the municipality. We are going to construct 10 bridges connecting communities, villages and quarters. We are going to donate 600 benches to schools. There are many projects, if you look at our budget, we realize that we mean business in Manfred Council. Things have becoming to normalcy. We now experience serene atmosphere and the population they are working in close collaboration with us to contribute by paying their taxes. Another major project to be realized is the construction of a market in 2022. The market project, that is 320 million. We are going to realize that project this year. All of these, when realized, are expected to put smile on faces of the population of Manfi. It will go a long way to ease and make the uh, standard of living of the common man to be easy. The town is too populated and the council really need resources to carry out activities. It was revealed during the council budgetary session that the 2021 budget and expenditure shall be evaluated in March next year. And the continuous influx of internally displaced persons and retainees to the Bamenda 2 municipality in the Mesam of the Northwest region has created uh, pressure on the scarcely available social amenities, notably water supply, electricity, and healthcare, in order to be able to improve in these sectors. The councillors of the Bamenda 2 municipality have voted a budget which saw an increase of 200 million francs CFA. A Northwest Regional Correspondent, Mbustela, attended the council session yesterday and compiled the following report.
The influx of internally displaced persons from some hot zones of the country hits northwest and southwest regions and returnees from other regions of Cameroon into the Bamenda 2 municipality in particular has increased the scramble for the limited social amenities available. The epileptic supply of electricity is evident in this hall where the councillors of the Bamenda 2 were deliberating on how to make life better in the municipality. Part of the mayor's speech was delivered with the aid of lights from a telephone. It emerged from the speech that the budget of the municipality for 2022 was increased by 200 million. And Peter Cheney, mayor of Bamenda 2, says this will be invested in the health, water, and housing sectors. If you go to Old Town, Mulan, um, and Tamulum, and some certain areas in Mancon, you already have both holes allocated there. But now we are acquiring uh, assistance from FECOM to increase the borehole in those area areas. I'm just coming back from Yaunu with the partnership that we signed with Minipat to construct uh, 13 local house uh, locals housing in Bamenda 2 municipality, which we started this coming January at the tune of 307 million. In order to achieve this, the Bamenda 2 will lobby more than collect revenue. According to Mayor Peter Cheney, this will limit conflicts between the municipality and the Bamenda city, where the latter is currently in control of revenue collection in the markets. The city council still has control over all the markets. I don't know whether it's the law is fully implemented or not. Uh, I realize that it wants to depend on state subvention we are going to fail. Because it comes quarterly, at times it doesn't come on time. And you look at the situation now, there's no flexibility in income in the municipality. So in that light, I decided to make sure, with advice from other experts, I'm um, lobbying from one ministry to another, and we are fortunate to have uh, close to a billion francs from the ministries, from different orders, different several ministries. I'm still going to be to lobby for more. Since these councillors took over, they are yet to occupy the council's edifice at Mbinfibi. In the quest to get a temporary site, the mayor is appealing to the competent authorities for the process of acquiring land to be hastened. Considering insecurity rocking some regions of Cameroon, notably the northwest, southwest, and the far north, considering the rise on hate and tribal as well as tribalistic tendencies on and off social media in Cameroon, his lordship Samuel Clay, the Archbishop of the Douala Metropolitan Archdiocese, has called on Cameroonians to consider love and celebrate Christmas in peace. The Archbishop was speaking during Equinox flagship program, La Verite and Fast. Mala Glory listened keenly to the key declarations of the Archbishop, the, old, the uh, patron or the patron of the Douala Metropolitan Archdiocese, and compiled the following report. His Lordship Samuel Cleda, Archbishop of the Douala Metropolitan Archdiocese, during Equinox program La Verite and Fast, call on Cameroonians to open their hearts during this Christmas celebration to welcome the Son of God, baby Jesus, who is born on December 25th, a day which brings Christians together to celebrate his birth. Fils de Dieu, qui vient se faire l'un de nous? Christmas is the birth of Christ who is coming to live among us. He is taking the human nature to live with us. That is why we need to open our heart to welcome him. And this means you need to leave behind so many things in order to be with him and allow him to transform your life. Nous par Jésus Christ. He is the Prince of Peace, says Samuel Cleda. As Cameroonians celebrate the birth of Christ, may peace be the watchword. Le verbe se fait chair, il a habité pour nous. C'est c'est cette dignité là que nous avons. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He is coming to bring us wealth. He comes to accomplish our heart desires. Help us be what we want to be, children of God. So let everyone open up their hearts and live in peace this Christmas. We are enfants of God. So let everyone in us open his heart to Jesus Christ. His Lordship prays that as Cameroonians celebrate Christmas, may they embrace peace and learn to live with one another in love.
On the road to Afghan Cameroon 2021, traditional rulers of the Fakuni Southwest region have gone to the streets. They are determined to keep Limbe and Boya clean, host cities for some matches of the sporting competition. Davison Mamo from Limbe. In the Bakuri language, one of Cameroon vernacular, Fakuo chiefs say, Thank you to the government for making Limbe one of the host city for the African Cup of Nations. Meke Eba Mikel Seish Albert, Divisional Officer of Limbe 2, and Chief Ndive Woka Daniel the First, Mayor of Limbe 2 Municipality, have this to say. Today, the chief of FACO have come together to launch and to encourage the cleanup campaign launched by the governor. They came and we were not only obliged, we were honored to work with them as custodian of the traditions, as those who are coming to bless the event that will take place here. With the custodian of the land, come out and safe in their numbers, in all the corners of Fakou Division, to make sure that they keep their surrounding clean to receive the visitors for the after, is to show you that the chief is the chair and the fair, and they are very willing to be happy for this event. I know that once the chief are ahead, it means that the population is behind it. The chiefs say, Though the northwest and southwest region is faced with an armed conflict, it is their fervent wish for peace to reign throughout the competition in Limbe. Chief Mafanin J. Martin and Chief Elongo Augustine are president of Southwest Chiefs Conference and FACO Chiefs Conference, respectively. The chiefs should go back and organize cleanup campaigns in their villages. This event is more than FACO, it's more than the region. It's even more than the country, it's more than Africa, it's about the world. So it's a world event and we cannot be behind. Why the government of Cameroon is cutting the T's and dotting the I's for a history event? It should be noted, Southwest Governor Bernard Okailai Bilai launched a special cleanup campaign every Tuesday and Friday to better prepare the division ahead of the football jamboree. Still on the road to Afcon Cameroon 2021, some uh, 16 uh, competing teams, excluding the host country Cameroon, have already made public the list and uh, names of players to defend their colors. And Smart Chicken Gabriel, the following report tells us that some countries have left at key players mm -hmm. and have given chances to new players. His report. <laughs> The head coach of the Atlas Lions of Morocco stunned the entire nation after omitting the name of Hakim Ziyech in the list of 25 players that was made public on Thursday, 23rd of December 2021. According to Vahid Halizozik, the Chelsea player is being punished for poor conduct. Vahid Halizozik gave chances to the stars of the 2018 and 2020 African Nations Championship in the likes of goalkeeper Anas Znitini, forward Ayub El Kahabi. The Atlas Lions are expected in Cameroon on the 2nd of January 2022. The Elephants of Ivory Coast, who were promised the sum of 4 billion 700 million francs CFA if they win the Nations Cup on 6 February 2022, are coming to Cameroon well prepared. Reasons why head coach Patrice Bumel recalled Crystal Palace striker Wilfred Zaha, who failed to honor the country in a last group match, counting for the World Cup qualifiers of Qatar 2022. Other strikers like Jeremy Boga, Maxwell Kone, and Sebastian Halle will surely enable them get the cash prize. The head coach of Ghana, Milovan Rachevak, on his part, has decided to give a chance to four youngsters in the Black Star squad to Cameroon, Fatawu Isahaku, Mohamed Kudus, Felix Afanagian, and Kamaldin Sulemana. Bayat Lekwiri is the surprise package in coach Didier Gomez da Rosa's Mauritanian squad to Cameroon. The 16-year-old former under-20 international is amongst the 30-man provisional squad warming up for the AFCON. This Friday, the head coach of the Teranga Lions of Senegal, Al Sisi, published a list of players that will be coming to Cameroon. Curiously, the list of Al Sisi is without any home-based player. 
coming up is talking point stay with us On talking point today, we are receiving a young politician. We're receiving Keja, uh, Robert Keja. You are a politician. Thanks for accepting our invitation. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Greetings to the entire institution of uh, the Equinox for giving me this privilege. I would like to also greet uh, the Iron Lady of Ngokatunja, Ophir Melo, the rector of the University of Ngandere, and to appreciate her for the gift she gave to some uh, women of our divisions that are here in uh, Douala. Uh, we're happy to have you, and of course we shall be uh, talking about the AFCON and the, 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 the fever that is surrounding the AFCON. To be or not to be, just when Cameroonians thought that it was all dying out with the fever pressure, we are having a strong worded uh, uh, communique from the World League Forum, which is saying that the call for players to go for international duties is irresponsible. They are indicating that they, are not, they will not be ready at least to leave their players come for the competition. Uh, firstly, I would not like to use the word we commonly use for Cameroon when we say impossible Nepa uh, Camerone, but I would like to use a scriptural description. You remember when God was creating the earth, he said, let there be light and there was light. And President Paul Bia said, there will be Afcon and there is Afcon. So I don't know why Cameroonians were, were doubting. However, it is also true that um, so European nations never wanted to give out uh, African players. They brought up issues like uh, COVID-19, which is really, really really not even something to talk about. You realize that uh, the risk of having COVID-19 in Europe is about 95%, whereas the risk of having COVID-19 in Africa is about 0.5%. Uh, when you look at uh, calculating the death rate, the death toll rate in Africa and in Europe, you will definitely come to uh, my conclusion. So for them to say it is risky here in Africa and it is not risky there in Europe, then definitely they are totally doing what we call blaspheming. The, you, you must know that the Omicron variant which is really touching the world now started in South Africa, an African country. But just before we get to that, you are talking about the president. Is it does it really depend on the president of the Republic of Cameroon? It's actually not the first time he said so. He talked about the AFCON and came back later to talk about this amount. All right. When you talk about Grisoma or a shift in date, that does not mean there was a cancellation. It definitely means that the Afcon will definitely take place. But this is the same thing we are having today. They, they, it not, it's not everyone that is calling for a cancellation. The, some are actually like FIFA is saying that it should be moved to around November or September 2022. You see, it's their opinion, but uh, you see, uh, CAF is an independent body that works in collaboration with FIFA, and they have made their decision, and uh, to conclude it, the president of CAF was in Cameroon some few days ago, which he definitely declared he had the chance to meet with the head of state, President Pobia, and they had a tete-a-tete -tete discussion, and the main uh, objective now is to see how the Afghan will kick off on the 9th of uh, January, which is definitely clear. I don't want Cameroonians to have any doubt. Definitely Cameroonians don't have doubt anymore. We are talking about other African countries that Cameroonians are waiting for them to come to our nation so that we can celebrate with them. But do, do, do you really think that the, the, the issue of health and the Omicron, the COVID uh, virus raised by some clubs in Europe and the leak of uh, uh, clubs in Europe is, is, not, is not a good reason enough? It's not a justifiable reason? I think it's not a, re a reason, not even that talking about justifying the reason, it's not the reason. Because when we talk about this virus, we don't have this virus in Cameroon. So where's the risk coming from? We have registered zero percent with regard to this virus in the Republic of Cameroon. Then how would they say it is a risk if their player come to Cameroon? They are the ones suffering from that uh, those variants all over there in Europe. But we don't have that in Cameroon. So saying that uh, coming to Cameroon will be a risk, then definitely they are totally just blaspheming because these our African players, they come to Africa. They are there on weekend. They come and visit their family and go back. So why would they come here and it becomes a problem that is a risk? No. We should be able to tell Africans the truth and be pan-Africanists. That the reason is that the, those in the West are undermining the African Cup of Nations uh, in favor of their European League. If they respect African, if they care a lot about African, they should respect our African Nation Cup, which is much more important than their European League, rather than coming to give our reasons to be be able to keep away our player but what is very more important is that 
African remain African. Our African player, they have that determination to come back. We've seen how uh, powerful former footballers have come out to decry such move of uh, FIFA. We've seen how current players have come out to decry, especially Cameroonian player, that they came out to say there is nothing that will stop them from coming back home to participate, represent uh, their country, to portray the green, red, yellow with the golden star in this uh, upcoming Afcon. But you, you know that one of the worries raised in the communique which we just read is the fact that the, the, the organization says it, it, it asks for the protocol that is in CAF intends to use in testing people because CAF actually said that, oh, a test result negative of not less than 24 hours. They've not gotten it. And when we listen to the SG of, of CAF, he spoke of uh, the, the, their plans to hire an institution for Europe that will come to do this. Cameroonians who are worried that can we not do it here in Cameroon? At what time are we actually going to have people who can trust to do this? You see, Cameroonians should understand that it is not about the Cameroonian government not being able. It is not about the CAF institution not being able. It is about the West undermining the capacity of Africa. That is where the problem is. But what is clear is that just the fact that us in Africa, we are less infected with this virus, it shows that our medical system is actually doing a better okay, job. Do you, do you they should stop underestimating mm. the continent. Do you really see our Africans play as patriotic enough, determined to uh, respect the African Cup of Nation by coming even against the will and the wishes of their club, different clubs in Europe and other parts of the world. It is the pride of every African player to carry the flag of his country and represent his country. It is the pride of every African player, which I think none of them will uh, remain in Europe and lost this uh, privilege, which uh, they have every after two years to represent their nation. That's to show that it's certain that we're going to have the competition in January. 100% sure. Thanks to the head of state for making this to be possible. Robert Keja, he's a politician. He was our guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're happy. And of course, we wish you a nice day in the company of very interesting programs of, on Equinox. We are sure that you enjoyed the news and we wish you a Merry Christmas.